How's it going guys? Welcome to part two of Spurverts and it is still me, Craig Mitch and Slats over here. <laughs> and today we are going to be talking about Jamie Redknapp. Now, he's saying that Eric Dyer should get an England call up. What's your thoughts on that one? Well, he's right. He uh, is. Because how many actual enforcers in uh, CDM do England have? How many? One. How many? One as far as if I can that... tell. Eric Dyer. They've exactly. got a lot of players now. They've got a lot of players who can kind of kind of do that role, like Jack Wilshire, like Fabian Delph. But actually, are they that kind of player? No. no. And if you want to beat top level uh, international teams in tournaments, you need someone who's going to be disciplined and enforce and make those tackles where other people don't want to. And I personally think that black booted throwback Eric Dyer could <laughs> be that man. You love the black boots, there. Oh my God, I love the black boots. But the boots. thing is, this is the question. Do you think Hodgson has been looking at him as a centre half rather than a defensive midfielder? And that's the reason he's probably overlooked him. Well, I'll tell you what, good point, Mitch, actually. Uh, he, he has been overlooked so far, but he was playing to, for the under 21s until relatively recently. Yeah. But we are lacking in quality centre halves at the moment. John Stones is the only one who actually makes me think he could Potential. be a centre half for the, for the future. Yeah. Is there any reason why it couldn't be John Stones and Eric Dyer? But the thing is, his role for Spurs so far has been good in DM, so maybe he needs to come into that DM role. Versatility in an international squad for a tournament is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing Having at all. players who can play in a couple of different positions. Also, he can play right back, as we know from last year, when he was putting in crosses for Harry Kane all the time. And the other thing about him is, you know, in terms of him being a versatile player who can play centre-back, central yeah. midfield and right back in an international tournament, with injuries coming thick and fast, you need players who can play in different positions. Yeah, and not only that, he can score a good goal as well. Yeah, but let, let me just say one thing before we move on. Go on. I bet, and I don't know, I don't have any evidence, but I bet Eric Dyer, black booted throwback, I bet he drives just a normal car. I bet you he reckon? doesn't yeah, I bet he doesn't drive into the training ground with a Lambo or with a Range Rover 4x4 or something. I bet it's really normal and yeah. he just doesn't want to be like he doesn't want to show himself up and out in the crowd or whatever. He's just a normal guy, gets on with his life, loves his football, loves his spurs. I'd laugh if he had a Lambo after all of that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, next topic of Spurverts has to be Harry Kane. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. He's got off the mark. He's done it. Get in. Get in. Get in, Harry. You've done it. We believed in you. We had faith. We had so much faith. Hallelujah. You've done it. I love you. Tell you what, not, what nobody's talking about is because people are talking about, oh, it was offside and the fact that we won for one. What a difficult finish that oh, was, by the way. Coming straight off the bar on the half volley and he's got a kind of almost, whilst Ooh. leaning back, just let it touch his boot oh. and it still flies into the top corner. Exquisite. Slow motion, Exquisite. but it. very difficult finish. Very and he, and he deserved finish. it. I mean, like he's been trying so hard. He's been busting a gut. I mean, he was unlucky not to score against um, Arsenal. It got cleared off the line. Beautiful yeah. bicycle oh, kick. Was lovely, like yeah. he was doing what he needs to do. And now people want to take it away from him. They want to find little asterisks to put over his amazing goal. Well, you know what? You haters, not you Spurs fans, any of you little trolls that are watching this and managed to find your way onto Spurverts, you can get lost. Okay, and, and uh, you know, before we move on, did you see how Roy Hodgson reacted to oh, the yeah. goal. He was sat behind Daniel yeah. Levy in the director's box and he was so smiley and so happy. He was basically massaging Daniel Euro Levy goals. from behind. It was getting all a bit sexual. He could just see it next year at the Euros. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Kane, Kane and Rooney playing off each other. I don't even know which one I'd rather is the 10 and which one is the 9, but it would be a sexual Either or. combo. Either or. Doesn't matter. All right, calm down. I'm all right, we'll do. Put the lube away. Anyway, guys. Another player who has got us absolutely excited and perverted is Clinton NG. Now, he came on against Man City. I think he got about 15, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And he just looked so up for it. He did a lovely piece of skill on the byline, ran down, put in a beautiful ball for Lamella, which actually led to the goal. Yeah. He's really up for it, isn't he? Yeah, I don't think uh, Mopo gets enough credit for his substitution sometimes. He knew that the game was being stretched. City would have to go for it. So he brought on a bit of pace. Ooh. He brought Clinton on and he absolutely murked. Was it Zabaletta on I the left? So. I he think murked? he killed someone. No, Kolarov. It was someone, Kolarov. Someone. Someone's he, in a coffin He absolutely right now. murked Kolarov to uh, coin Rio. Ferdinand's phrase uh, on the uh, at left back, took it down and then yeah, crossed it in for Lamella. And Lamella made it look difficult, didn't he? But it was a good finish. He had a lot to do, but yeah, he put it in the back of the net and that was all because of NG. The guy just, he brings so much pace to the side. Like with him, Hyung Min Son, it's, it's like what you said, 
Poch hates being pinned back. Yeah. When we're at the end of the game, he just wants us to keep going, pushing up the field. And it looks like we've got players in NG that can do that. Yeah, we've got energy that we haven't had before as well with Deli Ali now. So uh, it's a young, hungry, energetic team going places. Very important that we take yes. one game at a time. Yes. Obviously, there's uh, Monaco coming up, but more Come importantly, on. Swansea. Come on. Let's just make sure that we don't do what we did last year when we beat Arsenal no. and then lost to Palace. This time we beat City. Let's go and beat Swansea as well, or at very least get a result up in Wales. Exactly. Guys, this has been Spurvers. As you can see, it's good times at the lane, good times at Spurred on HQ. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of the episode. Do you agree with us? Is there any topics we should have shed light on? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. We'll see you soon. This is episode one of Spurverts this week. And what more is there to be Spurverted about than Tottenham Hotspur 4, yes. Manchester City yes. 1.